two, read. One thing is important here, please. You need to watch every reading video I make. Why? In every reading, we learn many new words. These new words we learn will come again in other readings. You don't expect me to clarify the meaning every time we take the word, so please. You need to watch all the reading videos and learn every new words we have, okay? A. Listen, read, and choose the best title for the text. Title. We have three titles similar to this one. This is the title of Listen 2D, Famous Faces. This is the title. Now we have a reading passage, and we have three titles for this reading passage. Our job is to choose which title is the best. Let's read the titles and then we will move on and go for the reading and then come back and choose the best title. A. Jamie Oliver's Best Recipes. Recipes means the ingredients and the procedures needed to make a dish. For example, you want to make capsa, pizza, you need pizza recipe, you need capsa recipe. B. Jamie Oliver Makes a Difference means he is able to make the change. C. Jamie Oliver, How to Become a Famous Chef, meaning that the reading will show you or give you instructions on how you can become a very famous chef. All right, let's move on and listen to this, and then we will read. Okay, listen and read along. Jamie Oliver, TV Chef. While he was growing up, Jamie Oliver's parents ran a restaurant in Essex, England, and he used to practice cooking in the kitchen there. He enjoyed cooking very much, so after he finished school, he went to Westminster Catering College, where he studied to become a chef. In 1999, he started working in the River Cafe in Fulham, London. That's where the BBC noticed him. He went on to make a TV cooking show. It was a big success. After that, he wrote a cookbook which became a bestseller. In the same year, he received an invitation to prepare lunch for the Prime Minister at 10 Downing Street. Oliver became famous for his simple, healthy, but delicious creations. His recipes were fresh, and the style of his cooking program was relaxed, friendly and cool. He turned food preparation and cooking into a fun activity instead of a boring chore. In 2005, Oliver introduced a campaign to improve school dinners in the UK. He wanted to get rid of the junk food that they served to kids and make kids eat fresh, healthy food. It wasn't an easy task, but eventually the campaign was a success and students' eating habits showed great improvement. Oliver's next campaign was to get the people of the USA to start eating healthily and he started off with West Virginia. He wants to inform communities about how important it is to eat homemade healthy food. Hopefully, his message will spread across the world. Okay, now it's our turn. Before we start the reading, I want you to notice that some words are highlighted in yellow. These yellow highlighted words are related to exercise B. Like improve, we will have to find out the meaning of improve in this exercise and so is get rid of task and spread the words highlighted in pink are the ones that i think that a normal student wouldn't know what they mean okay now i will read and try to clarify the meaning of these words jamie oliver this guy right here this young man is jamie oliver that's his name he is a chef you know, chef, like a cook, someone who cooks. While he was growing up, Jamie Oliver's parents ran a restaurant. Why did I put this inside a box? What does it mean to run a restaurant? That means to manage. That means you own a restaurant and you are managing it in Essex. Essex is the name of a county in England. 
and he used to practice cooking in the kitchen there. He enjoyed cooking very much. So after he finished school, he went to Westminster Catering College, college like university, to study how to cook, where he studied to become a chef. In 1999, he started working in the River Cafe. It's a cafe, but it's a place where he started working in and started making food in Fulham, London. That's the name of the of the area, of the district, Fulham, London. That's where the BBC noticed him. When you notice something, you become aware of it. He went on to make a TV cooking show. It was a big success. Success is the opposite of fail. Like when you succeed in doing something. After that, he wrote a cookbook which became a bestseller. He wrote cookbook book that you buy book that shows you recipes and that book became bestseller that means too many copies were sold of that book in the same year he received an invitation an invitation he was invited to prepare lunch for the prime minister prime minister is the head of an elected government at 10 downing street Oliver became famous for his simple, healthy, but delicious creations. Creations like when you create something. Why was Oliver famous? Why? How many chefs are there in the world? Hundreds, probably even thousands of chefs. Why is this chef different? Because his creations, the food he created, his recipes, were easy, simple, means easy, not complicated, healthy, good for your health, but delicious, tasty, they taste good. His recipes, I told you about the video of recipes, were fresh, and the style of his cooking program was relaxed, friendly, and cool. When you watch his TV show, it presents cooking as, as fun, something friendly, relaxed. You don't get stressed watching him cooking. And cool. He turned food preparation and cooking into a fun activity. He made cooking fun. Because normally, it is a boring chore. Instead of... Because normally, cooking is boring, right? You always hear your, your mother, you hear other women complaining uh, about cooking. They don't like to go to the kitchen to cook. But actually, this guy made cooking fun and easy instead of a boring chore. chore cooking is a chore. Uh, cleaning, drying, washing, all these uh, are different kinds of chores. In 2005, Oliver introduced a campaign to improve school dinners in the UK. He introduced, that means he brought something to operation, to improve, to make it better, to make school dinners better in the UK. He wanted to get rid of the junk food. Junk food bad food not healthy food get rid of it means remove it take it away that they served to the kids serve here you serve food that means you give food okay in english we say serve i served food i served drinks that means you gave just like in the picture the man here is serving food to the kids and make kids eat fresh healthy food it wasn't an easy task it wasn't an easy job but eventually finally the campaign was a success and students eating habits showed great improvement again improve improvement this is the verb and this is the noun improvement the noun improve is the verb Oliver's next campaign 
was to get the people of the USA to start eating healthily. And he started off with West Virginia. He wants to inform people. He wants to inform. He wants to teach. He wants to show people. He wants to, uh, to tell people. Communities. Communities. About how important it is to eat homemade healthy food. Hopefully... When you hope for something, that means you feel inspired, optimist about its future. Hopefully, his message will spread across the world. Spread means go everywhere. Just like this is a piece of bread and we are spre spreading butter on the bread. Spread. Make it go everywhere across the world. We will get back to choosing the best title for, for today's reading, but before we do that, let's work on this exercise. Look at the highlighted words, only the ones in yellow, phrases in the text and choose the correct meaning, A or B. Improve. When you improve something, you make it better, remember? So A, think something is good, make something better, B, we make it better. Two. Get rid of, when you get rid of something, you remove it, you take it away. So make something go away, or take something to another place, A. Three, task. It wasn't an easy task, it wasn't an easy job. Four, spread, when you spread something, you make it go everywhere, become important, or become known. No, it becomes known, because it's everywhere. So everybody knows it. Okay, now we get back to exercise A. So which title do you think do you think is best for this reading? Jamie Oliver's best recipes, Jamie Oliver makes a difference, or Jamie Oliver how to become a famous chef? Is it about recipes? Well, actually, we didn't talk about a single recipe. We didn't show you how he makes pizza. No. So, A is not a good title. C, how to become a famous chef. Was there instructions that tell you how to become a famous chef? No. It was all about how Jamie Oliver was able to change eating habits in the UK, and now he moved to the US, to America, to change their eating habits. And then he wants to move to the whole world. So B is definitely the correct answer here. Okay. Exercise C can be found on page 27, okay? Page 27. Read again and answer the questions. 1. Where did Oliver first start making food? If you remember, his parents owned a kitchen where he learned how to cook. So at his parents' restaurant in Essex. Two, which TV station did he appear on first? Do you remember the name of the TV channel? Get back to the reading, it's the BBC. Three, what did he do at 10 Downing Street? If you forgot, you can move back to the reading. Uh, he prepared lunch for the Prime Minister. 4. How did he improve TV cooking programs? TV cooking programs used to be uh, difficult, complicated, not easy, and not fun. What he did was that he gave it relaxed and friendly and cool style. 5. Who did he help in 2005 and how? He helped schools in the UK by trying to improve their dinners, make the students eat healthy food. 6. What did he try to do in West Virginia? West Virginia is in the USA. He tried to get people to start eating healthily. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.